welcome to our Book Explosion Little Monsters live show. Today we're discussing Little Monsters by Cara Thomas, our August book of the month. This month we worked with Random House, and there will be spoilers about Little Monsters. We'll do a little intro about our thoughts first. You can ask us questions on Twitter using the hashtag little monster explosion that the actual it's in the description below like the actual yeah. spelling of little monster explosion but yeah and if you were here like 15 minutes ago and i was like <laughs> walking around my apartment i'm still so mortified um i opened up this hangout to like get Kat and jesse in here early and then just started wandering and it went live automatically like, i will start uh... I was like muttering to myself. I was just like sitting here, like clicking around. <laughs> I really wish I would have been here for it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, I like ran to the lead as soon as I hit the stop button. Anyway, um, let's talk about Little Monsters. Jesse, kick us off with your thoughts. All right. Well, I went into this book with like really low expectations and I ended up really, really enjoying it. Um, like, especially like after that halfway point, I just got completely hooked on the story. I was so excited and like, I was just so surprised by like how everything went down too. Like it was kind of unexpected for me. Like there were things that I was like considering could have went down in the end and like, I was still surprised. I don't know. I really, really liked it a lot. So yes, A plus from me. Okay. Uh, yeah, uh, really similar to what Jesse just said. Um, I, I mean, I didn't have low expectations. Like, I went into this expecting to like it because, like, what I'd heard about it was good. It was very like mysterious and thrilling, and it was all of those things. And like, I went into it like I had predictions. I was thinking what's going to happen, and it ended up getting so much like deeper into the, like the sticky, complicated relationship dynamic thing that was happening here and I was so fascinated by all of that I love that aspect um yeah just the way that it, there's so much more going on like the situation is not at all what you think it's gonna be going in um yeah I really enjoyed it too I think I should clarify too that like the reason I went in with low expectations is because I've read YA thrillers before and I've just been really underwhelmed, yeah. but I was not <laughs> underwhelmed by this one at all. <laughs> that, that's the thing, like a lot of, there's not a ton of YA thrillers out there and a lot of them are like very predictable and yeah. this one was not. Like mm -hmm. I kind of lumped this in with um, a kind of like an E. Lockhart feel in that it's yeah. a contemporary, but like mysterious and gripping and there's all these complex relationships and it still like surprises you. Definitely. I, yeah, I mean, I agree with everything. <laughs> I was very impressed, like heavily surprised by the book and how I like didn't predict what was gonna happen and how like dark it got. I really enjoyed it. Like I finished it like just really excited, you know, the whole yeah. thing. I couldn't stop reading and I really like how it wasn't at all what I was expecting it to be. Um, and I like the relationships that we see her, like, around her and how kind of, I don't know, it, she's, it's kind of an like unreliable narrator sort of a thing. It's, yeah. like, you, you like this, it's unreliable all around. Um, yeah. you know, with the journal entries of yeah. um, the, the character who, like, goes missing and, like, st sparks this whole mystery. There's a couple yeah. chapters of journal entries. And even seeing those and, like, you see a different aspect of her personality. She's not reliable either. Like this yeah. main character isn't reliable, but you like you don't know what's going on, but it's not in a confusing way. It's in a like yeah. we're figuring it out kind of way. Yeah, yeah. When we first got like that first journal entry from Bailey, I was like, is this gonna go in like a 13 reasons why direction? Yeah, okay. Let's we'll talk about like, it. Anyway. Let's just say, okay, spoilers are gonna come. <laughs> yeah, spoilers are coming. Spoilers. So those are our non-spoilery thoughts <laughs> on little monsters. We yeah. liked this book. Uh, I would definitely <laughs> recommend it if you like thrillers, if you like E. Lockhart, any of that <laughs> stuff. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, so I was thinking the same thing and I was worried. I was worried because I don't want to see that again. Also, we just read, I mean, I just read um, another book that I was worried going to do the same thing and did something similar, but not the same. Um, what was it called? The no, Breakfast Club. It's not spoilery. <laughs> yeah, it's not spoilery. It's just like I worried that I would predict it because of like the book was it was it and one it was, of us is lying was it that one yeah yeah no i was worried and i didn't predict it exactly but like it was just similar enough that i was just like oh and then yeah. but 
this was not like that. And I was so happy. <laughs> it, wasn't yeah. it, was, it was really um, once uh, the, the brother, Andrew, started getting more involved in the story. Yeah. Um, because the, the first journal, Bailey's first journal entry, though, she says, like, there was a sentence that stood out to me. It was, I thought I knew everything about Andrew Kong. And I was like, oh, she, something is happening with the brother. The brother's definitely coming into this. Um, and then, you know, he did, and, like, that made things even crazier. And, like, do, 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 are they in a relationship? What's happening? Like, is that a thing? What's going on? Right. Yeah. Yeah. I, it was, like, really interesting, because you're also thinking, like, is there something going on with the lead character? And yeah. Yeah. It's, it's, it's not hearing about. But, like, no, she just, like, really, like, I think is enjoying having siblings in a regular family and um, is kind of reveling in the comfort that it brings to have these people. Yeah. Like yeah. every um, when she meets them, and it's just like oh, uh, like I I was getting I hated Bailey more and more as we went on. Obviously, I think we all did, but yeah. like I was getting so mad at those journal entries. I was like, "You're such a psychopath!" <laughs> uh, um, yeah, and I think what's fascinating about this book is that well, the, the author is like really into like true crime stories and stuff like that. And, like, there are situations similar to this that happen that are, like, so dark and twisted. And I just, these characters are all really messed up in different ways. And it was yeah. just really interesting. I'm like, can Jade, like, I, she is, like, the devil. I, I just, she just, like, let, like, manipulating everyone. Mm -hmm. yep. And then, like, and is, like, messed up enough to just be like, well, then why don't we just kill her? And then just be like, yeah, let's do it. And it's just like, oh. <laughs> I, I couldn't handle her. And she's scary. Like, yeah. and Bailey was scared of her. Uh, and right in the beginning, like, that first chapter is so interesting because we, the way we see it is so different from what is actually going on. You know, like, what yeah. we were yeah. Of those friends because I was like they don't seem nice like I wouldn't want friends like this like little do we know they're like <laughs> planning to murder her <laughs> and, like the only reason she didn't get murdered that night is probably is because her little sister tagged along yeah like uh, yeah it, it was just like as that unraveled and you realized that it was like oh my it was like nauseating it was like I can't yeah. <laughs> well, it's also because, like, our main character is just so concerned about Bailey and it's just, like, doing everything yeah. she can to figure this out. Yeah. Lo and behold, Bailey's been, like, the one trying to murder yeah. her. You know? It's just, like, it's so twisted. It's just, like... <laughs> yeah, it was just really well done. I was really impressed yeah. with the way that uh, she, like, plotted out the story and let us know, like, things, you know? Yeah. Definitely. Yeah, because I was, like, I was suspicious of, of everyone at, like, different times. And like for, I have so many different theories. Like for a while I thought maybe uh, Bailey did like run away and leave and Andrew helped her fake her death and he was involved mm -hmm. that way. Like I didn't think he yeah. had actually killed her or hurt her. Like I thought he helped her get away or something like that. Um, I I had weirdly started like questioning the dad. Cause like oh, the dad was totally in the too. picture. So I was like, maybe something's happening here, you know? Yeah, interesting. But, yeah. I was scared of him for a second. I was like, yeah. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> don't know how I feel about you. <laughs> um, yeah, there were so many different moments where, and you never questioned Lauren. I like, I thought she was messed up from yeah. just the haunted house, and like, yeah. and really, it's Jade who's like manipulating this yeah. cool thirteen-year-old girl who's like bullied by her peers, and like who just wants like friends and family, and Jade is like this manipulative evil person and jade it's like we're made to think that jade is kind of like um bailey's sidekick and oh my god like bailey's pulling the strings and jade is kind of her sidekick like especially like when we go to the party for lauren and bailey and jade's like oh she's just a kid like why are we going to this and meanwhile like jade's like using oh uh, she just like uh, she's just She's so fake. I just everything about her. Like, I couldn't deal with her. Everything about her. Like, oh god, she's so horrible. Like she was with Bailey's mom, like sleeping in Bailey's bed. Meanwhile, she fucking murdered Bailey. I. Yeah. 
and she left the phone and I, I yeah I, I feel like, the, evidence, like the, yeah. the only thing that I didn't like totally love about this book was that I kind of wanted a little bit more in the ending like more answers yeah. or something maybe because like we yeah. like they still have questions like obviously it's more like reflective of like a real situation like this where you know some things go unanswered and you never really know exactly what happened like they never found the knife like no one really know oh, like yeah. no one really knows why Bailey isn't talking about how she manipulated Lauren or anything. And it's just yeah. like oh Yeah, and Jade, um, like in a way was planting the evidence, like, you know, kind of framing um Oh yeah, no, yeah, to the the phone thing, like wait, what is her name? Um uh Casey. Casey, Casey. Yeah, yeah. Framing Casey. And Casey, like, we kind of there are times where you question, like, is Casey an unreliable, reliable narrator? Because, like, she blacks out, you know? She, like, falls yeah. asleep that night. Yeah, and she has those, she has anger problems. Yeah, she, like, yeah, she has her. anger issues in the past. And, like, it's just, like, really well planted. Like, we don't trust her. We don't even, you know, we don't even trust our narrator, who seems to be, like, the most moral of the people here. Like, yeah. she's aware of her issues, and she's, like, yeah. consciously trying to, like, be better. Um, yeah. That's the thing, like, everyone was really, like, morally gray, shades of gray. <laughs> Casey was also... Was just, was just the soul of, like, darkness. <laughs> Casey was also really good at, like, painting herself as, like, um, as the murderer, though. Like, when she's talking to the detective and everything, like, she doesn't keep her story straight ever. And, like, she keeps, like, getting caught up in her lies and stuff. And I'm just like, oh, stop, stop. <laughs> Kind of like kind of protect her relationship with her little sister because she's afraid yeah. of her. How, how great was it to have like a stepmom that was really great? You know, like we yeah. know. Yeah, I love that. Yeah, me too. It was so nice to see her like constantly supporting her, even though she's like making yeah, that life. that one scene where she was talking um, to Casey and was talking about how like when she she was like engaged to her dad when they found out that she existed, and her dad was like no, don't worry, like, you'll always come first. And it wasn't until, you know, like, later that she realized that it, your kids should kind of come first. Like, yeah. your kids need to be important to you. Like, this guy just, like, was not a part of his daughter's life for a long time. And, like, even though the, the mom did, like, keep him away, like, obviously both of her parents had a lot of flaws. Yeah. Right. But, yeah, it's just, oh, man. Yeah, it was, like, a really interesting family dynamic that you don't usually see in um, YA books. I don't... I yeah, it's, it's usually so much more polished. Um, yeah. This one felt like just a lot of messed up people. Yeah, it was, like, a modern family sort of ordeal where we have, like, her, like, kid from another marriage and then his kid from another marriage and then, you know, their kid together and they're, there's just three of them. Like, none of them are, like, full brother and sister, but they're all, like, a unit and it's really nice. Um, yeah, I liked that they all got along and stuff. Oh, God, it was, like, mortifying at the end when it was just, like, Lauren being carried off and, like, shit, I, she, oh, <laughs> <laughs> it's just it was, it was crazy. really sad to see how much it affected her family like this was a drama between jade and bailey and it ends up like casey's family everyone involved in it gets like dragged down with them yeah, <sighs> yeah. i mean like and oh it's just like crazy that jade and bailey are like best friends this whole like for years and then like jade murders bailey because bailey is like not Pay, like not pay. yeah because Bailey's gonna leave her like yeah. Yeah, Bailey was gonna leave and the one thing that would have like bonded them forever murdering someone like Bailey backs out so it's so fucked up what do you do so messed up oh god like I was trying to um sort the characters and I was like Jade is like a Hufflepuff gone wrong like <laughs> okay <laughs> <Royal>. <laughs> No, Jade is too, like, dark-hearted to be a Hufflepuff, though, in the first place. Like, she's not a friendly person. <laughs> yeah, but it's the, the, nice. lo the loyalty <laughs> thing is what I'm stuck on. Loyalty? Mm -hmm. The loyalty thing. But at the same time, like, she's not a different that kind of loyalty. She turned on her. She turned on her and killed her. Like, that's the, that's the opposite of loyalty. I, th I think it's, like, less, less loyalty and more obsession, maybe? Yeah, yeah, it's more of an obsession. <laughs> It's like the dark form of loyalty. <laughs> <I'm saying. laughs> exactly. That's what I'm saying. Dark Hufflepuff. 
no, no, but like Hufflepuff is loyal and obsession is not. <laughs> yeah, and that's why it's the dark version. <laughs> I don't know. Because I, I feel like. Oh, you think, you think Slytherin? I, I don't know. I want to say Slytherin. She might be Ravenclaw, like the dark Ravenclaw. Oh, it is. It is a very smart, like. It's very but smart. But don't you think she would have, like, gotten away with it if she was a Ravenclaw? I don't know. She almost did. Yeah, <laughs> she did. Yeah. The, yeah. She, yeah. The reason she didn't is because of the thirteen-year-old girl. Which right. I, that I feel like she can't be Ravenclaw if she thinks it's a good idea to involve a thirteen-year-old girl. Like <laughs> she's she's gonna tell on you. You yeah. know it. I still think she's like very manipulative in a way that like we didn't see it till the end of the book. Till and we see from two points yeah. of views. Like I I think she is Ravenclaw. And also like Lauren obviously had a lot of like stress and other issues going on because she believed that it was like the oh. spirit that. Yeah. was like telling her to do this like yeah yade really manipulated her yeah yeah because like uh, slithered when you look at that like their main category um characteristic is usually like ambition and um yeah that's what they like jade doesn't seem very ambitious she like wants to stay there yeah, yeah so i think i i do think she like this is ravenclaw because griffin got <laughs> caught like immediately like <laughs> Yeah, no, Gryffindor would have been, would have taken the advantage in chapter one and killed them both anyways. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> just like, I'm going for it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> um, Casey, I think, might be Hufflepuff, like, at heart. Uh, maybe, yeah. He stays loyal to Bailey, even when, like, Bailey just... <laughs> yeah, and she, she kind of, she latched onto the family, like, she wanted the family, and like, even though... Um, like, they, she'd only been living there for, like, a little more than a year, like, it was kind of a, still a new situation, but she bonded with them, and, like, yeah. she cared so much about her little sister, and, like, mm -hmm. yeah, I, I could see that. <laughs> yeah, I think so. Um, Andrew, I would maybe Gryffindor for Andrew. What do you uh, I think Ravenclaw for sure. Maybe. I mean, like, I don't, I don't, he, I know he's really smart, but I think he is, like, kind of brave. Like, he just does, he does stuff for Casey, he, like, That's looks way to make friends and he, he did kind of take the initiative to go investigate the dad because yeah. he thought he was having an affair yeah. yeah i feel like that's a gryffindory trait like there are smart gryffindors obviously uh hermione <laughs> yeah okay <laughs> yeah andrew is yeah. Actually, yeah he's a hermione okay <laughs> <laughs> um who else do we have oh bailey, oh, bailey and lauren mm. Bailey is a slither in that bitch. <laughs> yeah, Bailey is. Yeah. Hundred yeah, percent. No questioning that one. I don't think. Yeah, because she. Cause I think it's funny that she actually didn't go through with it. Yeah. But she was. She was like really into like all the planning of it and like right. she liked like the thrill of it, but not she actually like, actually like, going through with it. That little moral area where she's like, oh, yeah, yeah. Kid here. Yeah. Like, she's yeah. Slytherin, but she's not like evil like Jane. Yeah, she's not like pure evil. <laughs> she's like, she only cares about herself. And like during the journal entries where it's like, I hate Casey so much and I can't stay away from her. It's just like, oh. And it was so. It oh, was so frustrating reading of like, her yeah. journal entries about it. Yeah, yeah. and it was so oh. real hearing about like how her parents kind of like ingrained it in her to like hate people who have stuff that she wants. Yeah. Right. And like you def you definitely know people like that, like parents who talk about things like that. And it, it, it was just like so interesting to hear it like actually out loud because it's something you like subconsciously hear and not really yeah. think about. Um, but God, she's messed up. <laughs> Twisted. So twisted. And her brother, like, I felt bad for her brother who, oh, like, yeah. had no idea what was really going on in her head. Right. Uh, how messed up was it when she took Lauren to that party? Like, I couldn't even handle it. I was like, you are sick in the head. What are you She's doing? 13. She's what? 13. I couldn't. <sighs> like, I just, it, I, like, that's beyond even what I was expecting from her. Like, come on. Like, yeah. And also, like, why? Was it just to, like, get back at Casey? Or was, like, she was kind of trying to get information or something? I don't know. Andrew, like, that's how messed up she is. She's, like, taking the younger sister. I mean, like, and I felt so bad for Casey when she's like, no, what do you mean? We're not friends because of Andrew. 
I was sitting next to her and she needed a partner. No, she knew that Andrew had the new student coming in was his sister. <laughs> she yeah. is. And the fact that like Bailey like made up in her head this whole secret relationship but yeah. the step siblings and spread that rumor around. She like, she, just, like con being... she just like convinced herself of that idea yeah. too. Like, like they were just being like friendly and she's like yeah. they're flirting and she like starts the rumor and like yeah. yeah. Wait, what, wasn't she like going over oh oh you're echoing <laughs> <laughs> I'll be right back. It's me. No, it's me. It's me. It's me. It's you. Okay. Oh yeah. It is was it um? Was it Bailey like going over to their house at night too and like just yes! watching? Was just watching? <laughs> <laughs> what? Oh, <my> Psychopath. <laughs> <laughs> like, okay. Also, um, like Bailey, uh, Bailey dropped her f best friend from like middle school because Jade manipulated her into it and like mm -hmm. we the whole time she's like oh I hate her like I know I hate her for like oh oh no wait is she talking about the girl who dated Andrew or her ex-best friend both of them she hated so <laughs> they're, both their friends. they're both their friends now so like she just hated both of them for she just hated both of them and like yeah. we kind of think they were like oh like got popular for her but really she just dropped her and like yeah I wonder, I, one thing that I didn't really pick up, I might have missed this if you guys picked up, was Bailey aware that it was Jay that had manipulated her and, like, Bailey was the one who had dropped her, or Bailey thought it was the other way around? Bailey thought that legitimately the girl, the, uh, her friend from middle school had dropped her. Yeah. Like, yeah, because she was, like, too cool for her. How did Jade get in between them like that? Jade just like spreads rumors that like through the rumor mill, so it comes back not through her mouth necessarily. Like I feel like she, yeah. she talks to people and manipulates them. She, Another like, thing I might have missed. What was what was up with her mom? With oh, Jade's her mom. mom. I think Jade's mom was bipolar. I think she had um, anger issues or like bipolar issues or something, and she. Um, like didn't have any help so she was like they would explode and like fight with each other and like get um no bailey's uh, mom oh bailey's mom or yeah. jade's mom which one are you talking about no uh jade's mom because at the jade's end like she shows oh, up and she's oh, like yeah. i'm she's very surprised to learn that she'd been like apparently dead oh, for sorry I, I thought you meant casey's mom i keep forgetting casey's name and just like sorry to talk about her okay <laughs> Um, yeah, no, like, like that one line at the end, I didn't remember um, any details about Bailey's mom. Like, I, I feel like Bailey made up a lie about her mom, but like, I didn't... I don't think it was Bailey's oh. mom, wasn't it Jade's mom? That's what I mean. I, I, there's so many names in this book. Jade's <laughs> mom, she said that, she said her mom died, and she only lived with her dad. I think maybe, like, her mom was just divorced or, like, left or something. Yeah, like her mom got remarried. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, and she just like considered her like told people yeah. she was dead to like I don't know manipulate them in another way you know no because she oh, just God. enjoys manipulating people so she found another way to manipulate people maybe yeah. <laughs> yeah. Now, there, that, that was on it that, that one line I was just like I didn't it didn't hit as yeah, not that too because I was like I don't remember hearing enough about Jade's mom right. for it to be like a shock that she's actually still alive. Like, yeah, I yeah. remember her saying that, um, like, that's why Bailey was talking about, that's why, like, Jade is kind of messed up because her mom's, that her mom died. And oh, yeah, yeah. Her there or something, I don't know. No, it, yeah. pro it probably was just, like, a manipulation, sympathy. Yeah. 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 <sighs> <laughs> it's so deep in so many ways. Like, the more you look at the beginning, you're like, oh, my God. You know, because you don't know until like halfway through what's going on at all so yeah. also, you like i thought it was so weird i was like why are they allowing the 13 year old sister to come with them like yeah. why, how, why how is this happening but then we found out about the frat party yeah. and that like bailey and, and jade like took her and like uh. yeah, first seen 180s it's like uh, holy yeah. crap um yeah. yeah and like the whole like when you read that first chapter, you're kind of, like, confused about the significance. Like, why was this such a big deal? Why did they have to go? Like, what yeah. did, What did Bailey say to the um, Lauren in the house? Because that, that seems kind of confusing, right? Like, we go out yeah. right. for a second, and then, like, 
yeah, yeah. and they're like running out and it's like what and, like lauren that? seems like much more rattled than yeah. like yeah you would expect her to be yeah so you think like they saw a ghost or something yeah. like what happened or bailey said something to her that like freaked her out yeah yeah, because all we know about Bailey in that first chapter, too, is that, like, Bailey's super into this superstitious stuff. Meanwhile, that's just, like, a cover. Like, Bailey's super into killing you. Like, <laughs> <laughs> hobbies. <laughs> oh, my God. Should we take a question? This is, we've just been discussing this. We've been discussing. <laughs> There's so much to talk about. Like, I was there so really excited is. to discuss it, like, two weeks ago, but, like, none of you had finished. <laughs> We literally finished it today. <laughs> no. Like, I wasn't expecting to go through it so fast, but, like, I was like, I gotta find out what happens here. Yeah. Okay, um, this girl, Brittany, Britt underscore Nicole 16, says, there was a line in the book that said that Jade's mom committed suicide, and Jade found her, and Jade oh. found her. Oh! Kind of, like... I, I remember that now. Yeah. Mm. That's cool. right. Oh, yeah, that is one of the things, um, like, um... Bailey, I'm trying to keep the name straight. Yeah. Bailey, um, like, said that as a warning. Like, that's what happened to her mom. Don't ever ask her about it. Yeah, okay. Right. So, yeah. Okay. Oh, my God. Like, could you, and, like, the more you found out about the girls, the more you found out, like, every time she wasn't around, they were just, like, bad-talking her. Like, they hated her. And, like, yeah. oh, my God. That's just, like, the nightmare when you're in middle school. Like, the girls you think you're friends with are, like, always just, like, making fun of you behind your back. And they're, like, kind of friends with you to make fun yeah. of you. Like, right. well, I, I mean, I'm a little bit at a high school age. But this did feel, like, a lot of the relationships and, like, the dynamics and stuff a lot of it did feel like high school like it reminded me of like people I knew back in high school who yeah. were like you know because you know when you're when you're that age you're still kind of like developing your sense of morality and stuff and like what's right and what what you can do you're testing your limits you're like what can I get away with these girls think murder but they're wrong <laughs> yeah you're also kind of like I mean, I feel like by the time I was, like, a sophomore in high school, I, like, had a really good, a better idea about, like, who your friends are and who you're not. But, like, especially, like, when you're, like, 13, 14, 15, I feel like you're kind of in that stage where, like, you're not exactly sure, like, who you click with and who's, like, really your friend and who right. isn't. Because um, there's also, there's that, like, popularity thing yeah. flowing through mm -hmm. where you're like, oh, well, like, being friends with, like, like, being friends with them is probably cool and, like, this and it's, it's, it's a strategy. It's, like, who do I be friends with? And also, like, a, a what do I get out of this friendship? Yeah. Like, how Bailey kind of struck up the friendship because she was Andrew's sister. Like, yeah. ugh. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Ugh, God. Uh, <laughs> there were girls who were like friends with me in like uh seventh grade and i like our sixth grade sixth grade and like i i always just remember when i realized like that they were only friends with me because i was smart and that they were like copying off my paper and making fun of me when i left and it was just like uh it was just the worst and like this, oh this, this has been going on ever since she moved there like oh god it just feels disgusting to find it out I have a really good question here um, from Meg Book West. She asks, which Taylor Swift song would you assign each character? Oh, Ooh. I was going to say, I've been listening to Look What You Made Me Do while oh. I've been reading That's all day. Bailey. Bailey's <laughs> singing that. Like, this is what you made me do. Yeah, yeah. Like, so like, yeah. Look what you made me do. That'd be perfect for her. <laughs> I agree. <laughs> Yeah, because the song itself is kind of just, like, that feeling you get in your head. It's not, like, real yeah. what you want to, like, actually do, but you convince yourself, like. Yeah. <laughs> build it up. It's so Bailey. <laughs> <laughs> um, and Jane is like, now we got bad blood with <laughs> I would, I would think that look what you made me do would also work for Jade, though. Because yeah. Jade's like, you were going to leave me. Look what you made me do. Like, right. Yeah, but I feel like I feel like look what you made me do feels like, uh, it. I don't know. I don't, it just feels like, it feels like all talk and no walk. <laughs> you know? And uh, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I can, I can, I can do that. It's not actually going to go through with anything. It's like karma will get you. <laughs> 
Um, and I feel like Jade is like the type that like when she says, yeah, Jade's like, karma's not gonna get you. I'm gonna yeah, get you. Yeah, yeah, like fuck <laughs> that shit. <laughs> um, and like the weird thing, like you know people like that. I was scared of a girl that was in my grade that would literally like do whatever she said she was gonna do when she like made threats, like like stupid things, like passing out papers in class. And she's like, "You say another thing, I'm not gonna do this." Like I'm throwing these around the room, and then like she did throw them around the room. I'm like that girl is scary. Who knows what she'll ever do? <laughs> oh my god! Can I throw papers around the room because a teacher talked. <laughs> Mm -mm. oh did we get one for casey casey is like would she be like out of the woods maybe because she's like trying to get out of the bad oh, yeah, situation I like, I like that yeah yeah i could see that um there there's probably like there's definitely other ones where it's kind of like yeah. it's just kind of like thinks everyone's her friend and they're not <laughs> um but yeah, the whole, the, the interesting thing about it is that we're kind of like always a little scared of Casey, you know, and like, yeah. but yeah. there's like two much bigger, badder wolves that we're actually should be yeah. scared of. <laughs> um, what would Lauren's? <laughs> Lauren's? I feel like um, I, I knew you were trouble, maybe? It's like BB Rex's song, like crazy. <laughs> <laughs> um yeah i don't know poor lauren i don't know <laughs> <laughs> poor baby <laughs> yeah i just feel so bad for lauren because I know. you know she like she already was very like timid and shy like the whole part where like she didn't even talk to casey at first when she like moved into the family um She's I like tied really together with a smile, but she's coming undone. That Taylor Swift song from her first album. Yeah, she's just she's just like so sweet and timid, and then she gets like so manipulated, and it's so heartbreaking to see like this poor girl. Like, ugh. yeah. Did you, this is kind of off topic, but did you guys think that Andrew kind of like kind of liked Casey, but Casey didn't like him? Like, like, I felt like, like a little bit of chemistry there. It was weird yeah, though. I was yeah, like, I was, was just trying to like not that's... have it in my mind because it's weird. Yeah, <laughs> like this is your like, like your step siblings. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. See, I didn't think of it of just on one sided though. I thought it was like a little bit of a mutual thing. Yeah. Um, but I don't know I also like I also thought that like you know, like in, in the town like it would be kind of a scandalous thing, but like. They're not related, and they've known each other for a year, so they don't yeah. have that same, like, they're, weird... Like, they're not related at all by blood. Like, yeah, so. not related at all by blood, and they've only known each other for a year, so it's not like it's someone that you, like, grew up with in your house yeah. that you're not related by blood, but, like, you saw them when they were, like, two years old and stuff like that, like... Yeah. So yeah. I, I, I wasn't weirded out by that idea, um, but I'm glad it didn't go in that direction. I'm glad it was just, like fabrication of Bailey's yeah. obsession. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Um yeah, it was interesting. It added another like interesting like second guessing dynamic. Like is yeah. this, this or is this this? <laughs> What's really going on here? Yeah, the thing is, it sets it up so that we know that Casey is not like the most reliable narrator, but she's not actually like an unreliable narrator. Like she's up front about everything. Um, like she's, she's not like hiding the secret relationship with her yeah. brother or like hiding any big secrets from the reader. Like she's just a self-aware of her own like yeah, her own flaws thing. and like yeah. misremembering and stuff like that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. She's like, she's just caught up in this like stuff that's not really, like she didn't do anything. <laughs> she's just, it's like caught up in everyone else's like issues. Um. Let's see here. Uh, uh, do you think Laura Lauren can be rehabilitated? Um, yeah. What are your thoughts on Casey ending up with her mom? Does Casey end up with her mom, or does she just go to visit her? I feel like. I think she just went to visit her. Like, there's yeah. that line about how she's planning to go to a school like it near yeah. where um, Andrew was going to be. Yeah. yeah. Um, I think like, it's just like kind of like reconnecting with her mom and revisiting her and 
Yeah, what happens when you're a kid and you commit murder and then, like, it's because of, like, mental issues and stuff? Like, like yeah, I, I don't know. Like, she had, um, like, we found out that Lauren's, like, um, what's the word? Her, like, pun Motive? punishment. Um, oh. or, no, her, her, her punishment was, um, like, eight years. Her sentence. Yeah. That's what I'm, that's what yeah, I'm looking there. for. Her sentence was eight years, but um, in, like, a psychiatric hospital not in like a prison well she was uh, so, old enough to go to prison was it huh? it was it eight years once she's old enough to go to prison or eight no 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 it's eight years at a psychiatric hospital starting or a psychiatric like ward starting now yeah. um so like the, it, it it seems like she definitely can be rehabilitated because she was so like she's so young and she was so manipulated but um, how scared right. would you be if that was your sister and then she came out again I, it's just like well i mean i it would be an interesting sequel. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I, I, th I was actually thinking, like, she could do a sequel of when she gets out and, like, her... Yeah. Back I think it would be really But I want everything to be okay. <laughs> I, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's like that creepy factor, you know? Like, a, a like child a murder is very scary in a way. Yeah. You don't know, like, yes, they were manipulated, but did that affect them for the rest? Like, did that... Yeah, I feel like... Continue to... Yeah, I, I, I think that... Lauren didn't do it out of any kind of like maliciousness or cruelty. Um, like but she did it. Somebody. Yeah. yeah. No. I like. I don't know. It's such you can't, a like you can't justify. Yeah, like, it. I don't. I don't like, know. Oh. <laughs> yeah, no, because like if no, you were not old and yeah. oh, how old is she? Thirteen. If you were thirteen years old, like you were aware, like murder. Yeah. Man. yeah. Like if I were her, I would have gone to tell my parents that someone yeah. told me that they were going to murder them if I didn't kill this girl. Like. Yeah. I mean, it's another level actually going through with it, even if you think it's just, like, a scary story. I mean, not yeah, just scary, it's a ghost or something. I, I wish that we had gotten a little more, like, insight on that, um, about, like, how exactly, like, her, her mental state was. Because, yeah. Um, yeah, that was a little bit, like, how did she get Lauren to do this? Like, like she scared the this, like. Her. Yeah, what, what, it, was, it wasn't like a direct, it wasn't like Jade directly threatening her, like, do this or I'll kill you. Like, Lauren really thought it was, like, a spirit, like, something supernatural was happening. So, like, I don't... Yeah, I and she's, like, getting lost in, like, the conspiracies online. Mm -hmm. um, and um, she let, though, like, she let herself do it, though. You know, like, she did yeah. It takes, you know, you have to be... Like how, see, I, I was seeing it as kind of um, <laughs> Ginny in Chamber of Secrets. <laughs> 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 like, it's not her fault. <laughs> well, Ginny was possessed. <laughs> like, well, <laughs> maybe the supernatural aspect is real, and it was the ghost of what's-her-face. The ghost is still just talking to her, not possessing her. Like it's a it's a whole different ball game. Like you have to like think of it like as if you're in this situation. You're 13 and you're like you're insecure and you you feel like you know you don't want to lose your family. But like are I mean, you? I mean, it seemed like it was beyond just regular 13 year old like insecurities and worries. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like something more is going on with Lauren. Yeah, yeah um, I and I wish we dived a little bit more into that. Like, why is she so? like, afraid and, like, anxious of even Casey, yeah. like, coming to live with them. And, like, yeah. it took her a while to warm up to her. Like, I, I just was a little bit more interested in Lauren's side of things, considering, like, she's the one who got used and manipulated in this yeah. bizarre, evil scheme. <laughs> well, also, Lauren, like, I mean, Lauren is, like, 13 years old. She's getting a new sister who's kind of, like, uh, a little scary because she does have these anger issues and she does, like... Like, people, she, uh, Casey talks about how people talk, look at her like she's, like, you know, she's always the one who caused trouble because she, her hair is, like, purple and she kind of maybe dresses more, like, in a badass fashion. Um, and, I mean, I don't know. You probably would take more time to warm up to her because you don't trust her at first because you're like, oh, she's a troublemaker. But she's, like, trying really hard to be good. So that's why she wins Lauren over. Um, and so, like, I feel like her anxiety there was maybe justified. But then it's like, never mind. <laughs> uh, she must be with something else going on. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> there's like, yeah, there's just so many ways to look at it. Right. Um, 
Very well crafted. <laughs> yes, definitely. I want to read her other book. Yeah, I'm really no. excited to read her other book now. <laughs> I know. Like, she's the very... The Corner. Yeah. Like, it's just, there's, like, so much to, like, discuss and think about and be like, oh, my God. And, like, it's such... It feels like a movie. Like, it's such an entertaining, like... Yeah. It's three, 320 pages or something. Like, you can read it in a day. You can just sit yeah. down and fly yeah, through. Yeah. And you do really see, like, the movie playing out. Um, yeah, yeah. Yeah. It, like, the, the it was really, a really good, like, pacing and progression and stuff. Yeah. Like, the story unfolded very nicely. Yeah. I was never, yeah. like, frustrated, like, give us more information or, like, where is this going? I was always like, where? What's going <laughs> Giving you little presents as you go along, too. Yeah, yeah like, you're, right. you're given oh. enough. And yeah. <laughs> it just keeps, like, building and building. Like, once we start bringing Andrew into the mix and, like, how angry Bailey is about it all and, like, all that stuff, and it keeps escalating. Like, there's a murder plot and, like, the manipulation. Yeah. And, and there's just, like, that guy that, um, for a second, you think that maybe that guy did something because Bailey, you know, you have this whole backstory with Bailey and this dude. Oh, the, the, cl the cliff, right? Yeah. Yeah, that yeah. she was going to lose her virginity to, but then, like, she got in a car accident with him and, like, because he was drunk driving and lost his scholarship, it was her fault. Like, at first, you're sympathizing with Bailey. Like, oh, yeah. really? This has nothing to do with what Bailey is, like, going on in her head right now. I, it's, uh, I mean, like, yeah, it probably, but the, also, also, the fact that Bailey <laughs> had asked her mom to, like, get her a therapist. And we think yeah. it's because of that. Right. But it was that she's plotting to murder her friend. No. Uh. <laughs> and like it kind of provides like a tiny bit of redemption for Bailey that she was like yeah, yeah. aware that she was. Yeah. No, yeah, I, I like that because like that made that like rebought a little bit of sympathy back for Bailey because like obviously like she had some problems and like she created a lot of this herself, but also like um I just lost my train of thought. Um, gosh. Oh, what was I saying? <laughs> um, about uh, the creating... Oh, I lost it too. Wait. So she, she kind of created this narrative herself. Oh, um, I forgot. Never mind. <laughs> That's all right. Yeah, well, Casey was so stuck on that narrative that, like, Cliff did something to Bailey. And, yeah. and like, that becomes such a big part of our psyche because... Casey is so stuck on it. And it's also a big reason why we don't see this earlier, like what's going on. What I, don't, I didn't really, boo. I didn't really think he, I thought like that was just Casey obsessing over, like it's because she was so like convinced he had done something. I was yeah. like, it wasn't him. <laughs> yeah, no, no, I didn't think it was actually him, but like you think it's something around that happened there. Like I, like that Bailey did. I, I didn't think Bailey was innocent in it. I think, cause we see like one of her journal entries about like, oh, I should just get it over with and like have sex with Cliff and like, oh, I hate his girlfriend. Or like, I, uh, she hates me. Like, is there so much drama there that it's like, oh, does that have something to do with that? Um, but yeah, it quickly dies off as you read more of Bailey's <laughs> <laughs> journal. <laughs> More of a journal. Um, more of the journal. God, that journal. Like, what an idiot, too, to write all this stuff in the journal that would, like, definitely be found. Like, you can't write all this down. <laughs> yeah. No, that's, I, I think that's kind of what I was saying about how she buys back a little sympathy at the end is because, like, the last journal entry, she is getting, like, self-aware. And she's like, I can't believe I thought about this. Like, what was I thinking? Like, I need to burn this journal. And yeah. she, like, goes to her mom and is like, you know, mom, I think I want to talk to someone. Like, I need to figure my shit out. Um, and that that's when Jade strikes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Jade is a snake in the grass. <laughs> 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 she is scary. Um, we should probably try to take another question. I think we took one or two. <laughs> <laughs> Um, Sorry, guys. <laughs> there's so much to talk about. There's okay, literally so much to talk about. Thoughts on the fight between Casey and Jade in the hallway. It was intense. Um, oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Got dirty. They were playing oh, dirty. Yeah. <laughs> well, kind of, like, Casey didn't... Who started it? It was Jade, right? Well, it was kind of... 
I think Jay, I don't remember. I don't Jay, remember Jay was like, kind of like the one that was like, meet me at the locker. Yeah, like, well, because Casey said like, what, Casey texted her like, what really happened to your mom? And then she said like, <laughs> meet me at the locker. Yeah. yeah. True. <laughs> and the, oh, Jay just came and like smacked her, right? Like, well, that's I, what right? I don't remember. I think, I don't remember who threw the first hit. Punch, but, yeah. I, I think. I feel like it was Jade, though. I feel like it was Casey. Really? Like, Casey know. slapped her, and she, like, turned around, and then Jade, like, slammed her into the locker. Oh, maybe. I don't know. I read it two weeks ago now. I'm getting messed up. Yeah, I, don't, I don't remember who threw they, they were both go. They were both out for yeah. blood. They were both going for it. <laughs> I think Casey had found out that she took Lauren to the party, too, that they went with Lauren. Oh, yeah, because she ran into... Um, his brother. <laughs> yeah, he was pissed. I would have been so mad. I, I went. I just. I couldn't even read the chapter without like. Ah, oh, I was like, "Fuck you! What are you doing? You're so messed up." Oh my god. Um. Yeah. Yeah. That also messed like stuff like that messes you up when you're younger, and like that also played with Lauren's head, and like I just. Oh god. I just. Oh. <laughs> uh, um, anyway, is there another question you want to take? Uh, did you, so did either of you guess who killed Bailey? No. No. no um, even it was happening, I was like, no! <laughs> it was, when, when, um, as soon as we heard the line of partial match DNA, I was like, it was Lauren. But yeah. that happens like two pages before we find out for sure right. it was Lauren. So when you're like, wait a minute. But like yeah. up until that point, no way. No, like, no. no. Yeah, yeah. I, up until that point, I was like, there's 20 pages left. How is this gonna wrap up? I was like, I mean, what? I was like questioning everybody, but I wasn't like sold on Lauren being yeah. the murderer. You know, but I was That's like, really anybody could have done it. <laughs> anybody. Yeah, I, I was thinking it was Jade, but, like, that didn't seem right. And even, um, yeah. what's his name? Uh, Cliff, who, like, had an alibi because he was home by midnight, um, but then his dad also didn't have an alibi. His dad was, like, at the bar until closing time. It's right. so, like, maybe it was yeah. the dad who was mad that, like, his son yeah. had been yeah. born. Yeah, no, that ran through my head, too. I, I, okay, yeah, no, you're sold on Jade toward the end, though. Like, that's what I was, right? Like, we're like, Jade did it. And, oh, yeah. And then, and then. And it's like, Lauren, what? what? Lauren? Um, yeah, because they, they keep taking Andrew back to the station. I know. And it's just like, you keep thinking there's more there. <laughs> oh, my God. Um. Let's see the questions here. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Do you think Bailey and Jade would have killed Casey if... Yes, I do think they would have. If the... Yeah. What's her name? Did, um, Lauren. Did Lauren. Yeah. Um, mm -mm -mm. What did you guys think of the supernatural elements? Was there any point where you thought that the supernatural elements were going to actually be real in the story? Not really. Um yeah, not really. I thought it was going to be, like, an interesting parallel, like, misdirection kind of thing. Um, but I, yeah, no, I didn't really think something supernatural was happening. I would have yeah. been okay if we had embraced it in the end, like, kind yeah. of, um, uh, you know, it's gone in, like, some different direction there. But, I don't know, I, I'm, I'm glad that there, it wasn't supernatural. It's really nice to just find, like, a like a true crime thriller kind of book yeah. that like no fantasy elements like everyone's like a real person yeah yeah i i i really like that i mean that it confused me in the beginning because i was like wait are we going in this direction because it was so weird because it was like there was so much like just pressure put on it in that first chapter you know right. and it was just like what is the point of this? And it was just such a good misdirection because it, we didn't even know what was going on. We're just seeing from Casey's point of view and she thinks that this is something that Bailey's super into. Um, yeah, it was it, it was really, I liked it a lot, the way that it was integrated. Um, do you think Andrew and Bailey could have worked together? No, she's crazy. <laughs> okay, no, that's insensitive. She's not crazy, but she's messed up. I don't She's know. Got yeah, some issues. yeah, I don't. I, I feel like I want to like protect Andrew from her. <laughs> I'm scared of her. Like, shit. 
Yeah. Like, her thoughts went so dark. Like, they weren't just like, oh, I hate her. They were like, I hate her. I want to murder her off the face of the earth. And also, right. like, Bailey's feeling <sighs> toward Andrew didn't feel, I wasn't like, oh, I hope things work out between yeah. these two kids. I was like, it's unhealthy. Like, yeah, it's obsession. Yeah, like, it's, it's not a real, like, a relationship like that could never work because the dynamic is so off balance. Like, it, nah. Mm-hmm. Not having it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there was never any moment where we were like, oh, that's cute. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and, like, she was, I don't know, she was just constantly such, had such negative thoughts to say about everyone. Right. Um, yeah, she needed help. Um, and she never got to get it, even when she asked. No. Oh, yeah. yeah, that's what's really sad, is that you know, she might she might have had a redemption arc. Like she was still young. She didn't go through with murder. Like maybe maybe she could be okay. Like work through her obsessions and like the conditioning she received as a child where if someone has something that you don't have, like they're the enemy kind of stuff. Right. Like mm-hmm. <sighs> Oh boy. Do you wanna talk about our next book yeah, series? Let's have yeah. <laughs> For a completely different change of pace. Yes. <laughs> I'm, I'm thinking, like, right now, maybe this is my favorite book explosion book of the month for the year, but I can't, like, I can't read really? all of them right now. I know, I can't remember all of <laughs> our books. I, I'm trying to remember, what else, what else have we, what else have we done? Um, oh, like, contend with this. Crooked Kingdom? Crooked Kingdom. Oh, Crooked Kingdom was good, but it was a yeah. sequel. Like, I, yeah. yeah, no, this was, yeah, this was a really good one. Is really good. Um, what was before Cricket Kingdom? I can't. I, why am I not remembering? I know, I'm like blanking on everything right now. God, um, I, well, I, we I, did. We did Wayfair this year. We did the Edge of Everything. We did. Yeah. Um. um <laughs> what? What books have we bad. <laughs> I'm. I'm opening up my videos. <laughs> I'm opening up Instagram. <laughs> we did. We did. Okay. We did the Golden Compass. Golden Compass. Um, yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. We did the Bone Season. Yeah. Oh, yeah, we did the edge of everything. Wayfair, yeah. Uh, I I think this might be my favorite thus far. Um, book of the month this year, but we'll see at the end of the year. Yeah. Yeah. Very cool. I mean, too guys, early to really say. <laughs> I don't know. I I I did. Per- I do think Crooked Kingdom is a little bit above this one for me, but they're also I, mean, that's I, I like fans. Though, it's like, yeah, I don't know. Yeah. Yeah, I like to pick like Geekerella! A- Geekerella! <laughs> oh, Geekerella! Oh my gosh. It <laughs> was really good. We got some Geekerella good contenders. Geekerella is like the opposite of this Yeah, it's so t- Yeah, exactly. It's so t- <laughs> they're both contemporaries, though, which is kind of weird for us. <laughs> but this is like a thriller, and that's like a love story. I really like a cute yeah. rom. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Oh, um, we've had some good ones this year. <laughs> we did have some yeah. good ones this year. It's hard. It's going to be hard at the end of the year to pick one. <laughs> Also, Anyways, our yeah, next also book. Also, with our books of the month for the rest of the year, we got some more contenders. Yes. Yeah. The Dreadful Tale of Prosper Reading by Alexander Bracken. Yeah. September book of the month. It comes out on September 5th. Um, so, you guys got to keep your eyes out for that one. <laughs> yeah. Look how Where's your book? It's I'm in really, my other room. <laughs> I'm really happy with this finished copy because, like, the, look at that shine. I have the arc. I forgot I have it. <laughs> like the arc. Um, what's it? I remember at BEA we only saw like a flat version of this that was like not like this, and it didn't look half as nice. Now I'm like, ooh, impressed. This is beautiful. It has like a nice purple tint to it too. I like it. Um, and then our October book of the month is um, A Short History of the Girl Next Door by Jared Peck. Is that his last name? Um, Wreck, I want to say. Wreck? Wreck? <laughs> He's a debut author. A debut author. So this is his first book, and it's going gonna, it's like gonna, to, I think, be like a fun contemporary, like a funny contemporary book. At least like a coming-of-age contemporary. Oh, it's not a dark thriller. <laughs> it's not a dark thriller. It's a different... I don't know how fun it's going to be, but... <laughs> <laughs> And then we have uh, Magnus Chase the Book of the Month. The third Magnus Chase book, which we're all very excited about. Yeah, we read the third and final. Last year. Yeah, yeah. Um, That's the third and final. Yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah.
then December's tea to be announced. We haven't to be announced. Have, to be announced. haven't figured it out yet, but we're working on it. <laughs> um, but yeah, thank you all so much for joining us for our little monsters book explosion live show. Uh, hopefully, you join us for the dreadful tale of Frost the Redding next month. <laughs> You should join us. It's going to be fun. Yeah. This has been a really fun live yeah. show. It has been. A great discussion. A lot of discussing. A lot of yeah. discussing. Like, that's like, it, it was, well, you know it's good when you can discuss it, like, nonstop without question. <laughs> yeah, yeah. When you finish a book and you're like, I can't wait to talk to people about this. <laughs> I need to discuss it. Like, my need to discuss Bailey and how much I'm, like, I am fed up with her. Was You've been holding this in for like two weeks now. Uh, like I had so much anger for her. Yeah, Christine, your anger is still really fresh for reading this two weeks ago. Like, I don't know if you guys remember when I texted and I was like, is anyone reading Little Monster? Right now? Yeah. <laughs> I was like, I, I, I was just like, I cannot believe this bitch. Oh my, oh my god. Um, okay, anyway. I'm glad you got it off your chest, Christine. Yeah. <laughs> You feel better now? <laughs> I do. <laughs> uh, I'm Christine. I'm Jesse. I'm Kat. We're Book Explosion, and we will see you next month. Bye-bye! Bye! -bye. Bye.